Emotions may affect the student's performance, motivation, and learning. The COVID-19 pandemic indicated a period of new and difficult challenges for all students, including nursing students, especially in online learning. Good day! I'm Clinical T. Temple. Hey, are you Liston Vanillo? I am Erica May Tellis. I am Leila Villarde. And I am Johanna Paula S. Pilarosa. We are the Group 4B, third year Section F nursing students from the University of St. LaSalle. We are presenting our research paper entitled Anxiety and Academic Performance of Nursing Students in Online Learning. The purpose of this study was to determine the relationship between the level of anxiety and academic performance of nursing students during the COVID-19 pandemic. Specifically, this study sought to answer the following questions. First is, what is the demographic profile of nursing students according to age, sex, year level, and connectivity category? Second is, what is the level of anxiety of nursing students during the COVID-19 pandemic as a whole and when grouped according to age, sex, year level, and connectivity category? Third is, what is the level of academic performance of nursing students during the COVID-19 pandemic as a whole and when grouped according to age, sex, year level and connectivity category. Fourth is, is there a significant relationship between the level of anxiety and academic performance of nursing students during the COVID-19 pandemic? Fifth is, is there a significant relationship between the level of anxiety and profile variables when grouped according to age, sex, year level, and connectivity category? So for our research design, the study utilized quantitative research in a correlational approach and survey method. The participants were the Level 3 and Level 4 nursing students of the University of St. Lausanne. The total population of Level 3 and Level 4 nursing students is 402, and the completed sample size which is 208. The researchers used a stratified random sampling technique with 126 participants in Level 3 and 82 participants in Level 4. Then the participants are selected using simple random sampling. There are three parts of research instruments. First, the demographic profile, which includes age, sex, year level, and connectivity category. Second is for the level of anxiety. Generalized Anxiety Disorder 7 Item Scale or GAD7 was used. The GAD score is total sum of points of each question and were interpreted from minimal to severe anxiety experience by the students for the past two weeks. The last part was for academic performance using the participant's GPA. This is a modified standardized questionnaire adapted from the Generalized Anxiety Disorder 7-item scale that has been tested by three experts using good and skip scales and has an average validity score of 4.74 and has a Cronbach Alpha score of 0.89. For the results and discussion, in the demographic profile of nursing students out of 208 students, the highest participants were in the age bracket of 20 to 25 years old with 98%. And the least participants were ages 26 to 30 years and 31 years old and above, and their combined percentage is 2%. Most participants were female nursing students with 74% and male students with 26%. At year level, level 3 nursing students have 61% and level 4 with 39% which means level 3 has the higher participants. Lastly, category 2B has the highest participants rate of 58% and category 1 has the lowest percentage of 1%. When the nursing students were grouped according to their profiles, significant findings were determined as follows. In regards to age, 20 to 25 years old and 26 to 30 years old were interpreted to experience moderate anxiety, while students who were 31 years old and above were interpreted to experience mild anxiety. It implies that nursing students below 31 years old were more likely to experience anxiety than those who were more than 31 years old. In terms of sex, male nursing students and female students were both found to experience moderate anxiety. In connection with year level, students from level 3 and level 4 were found to experience moderate anxiety. Lastly, in relation to the connectivity category, students from category 2B experience moderate anxiety, category 2A and category 3 tend to experience mild anxiety, while category 1 were found to experience minimal anxiety only. It implies that students in category 1 were more likely to consider things lightly and were not able to experience anxiety, 
while students from the other categories tend to experience mild and moderate anxiety. So for the level of academic performance of nursing students when grouped by profile, results shows that nursing students' GPA when under the age of 26 to 30 years old and 31 years old and above were found very good, while 20 to 25 years old were found good. It implies that students ages 26 and above tend to have a better GPA than younger students. Pertaining to sex, results shows that the female have very good GPA results than male students who have good GPA results. It implies that female students perform better academically than male students. Then in terms of year level, level 3 was found very good in terms of their GPA, while level 4 has a GPA was found good. It implies that students at a lower level have higher GPAs than higher level students. It means that students from higher levels might experience more pressure than the lower level. Lastly, in relation to connectivity, Category 2A, Category 2B, and Category 3 was found good in terms of their GPA, while Category 1 has an average GPA. It implies that in terms of category, the higher the category, the better the results in the GPA. To answer the fourth objective, the level of anxiety of nursing students was found to have a significant relationship to their academic performance based on their GPA with a chi-square value of 0.521 and a p-value of 0.045 which means that the null hypothesis was rejected. The results suggest that the student's anxiety affects their academic performance, implying that the student's emotional and psychological state affects the way they perform in school. The level of anxiety of nursing students was found to have a significant relationship to sex with a chi-square value of 38.130 and the p-value of 0.047 and connectivity category with a chi-square value of 100.172 and a p-value of 0.002. It implies that the anxiety of students matters whether they are male or female. Meanwhile, the level of anxiety of students is also affected by their connectivity. In the evaluation of 208 nursing students, findings depict that younger students were more likely to experience anxiety and students from a lower category tend to experience mild and moderate anxiety. Regardless of sex and year level, students still experience anxiety. Based on the academic performance of nursing students, findings imply arbitrarily that older students, female students, those in the lower level, and those who have more access to resources and the internet tend to have a better GPA. Moreover, sex and connectivity have a relationship to anxiety. This shows that women are prone to stress and they may react more emotionally and become more exhausted on an emotional level. In addition, internet connectivity might be a great contributor to the stress of a student thus aggravating their anxiety level. Lastly, level of anxiety does really have an effect on the student's academic performance. The conclusion and findings of this study gave rise to recommendations such as providing pocket Wi-Fi to students who have an issue in connectivity and to suggest using the Wi-Fi services of the university. To enhance the learning activities, both synchronous and asynchronous, according to the status and capacity of the students, and to have a monthly mental health check for each student and to conduct activities. It is recommended to manage time properly and to prioritize responsibilities. Parents may monitor the student's academic performance and level of anxiety. And lastly, future researchers could conduct further research with different participants, variables, and instruments. Please scan the QR code for the references. We'll end this presentation with a quote from C.H. Fortune. Our anxiety does not empty tomorrow of its sorrows, but only empties the day of its strengths. Thank you very much.